Welcome to our SFC Dialogue, Ambassador. Thank you very much for hosting me in your uh, uh, program. Thank you. Uh, we are heard that Israeli athletes will take part in the Beijing Olympic Games. So could you give us a, uh, a brief introduction of the Israeli delegation in terms of the number of athletes and the competitions they will attend? The Israeli team is very excited to come to China. We have spoken to them many times, uh, and in two weeks they will be here. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there will be uh, no less than seven and no more than nine uh, uh, athletes, uh, and the whole entourage will be around 20 people. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, skiers, ice skiers, uh, bobslides, and uh, we really wish all of them to have uh, much success and hopefully they will win medals as well. Although Israel is not considered to be a Winter Olympic uh, um, country because we don't have uh, so much snow, uh, but nevertheless they uh, are very good, um, world champions, mm. uh, European champions for sure. One of them just won uh, uh, a medal, a gold medal in, uh, in, in Austria the other week, um, just a few days ago, um, European Championship in, uh, mm -hmm. in skiing. So he will be here and hopefully uh, they will all win good medals uh, in Beijing 2022 good Olympic athletes. Games. Yes, mm -hmm. we wish them all the very best. Yeah, and in less than a month, Beijing will become the first city in the world to hold uh, both the Summer and the Winter Olympic Games. 40 years ago, Beijing impressed the world with the fantastic delivery of the Summer Games. Probably you have watched the opening ceremony. So what are your expectations for the Winter Olympics this time? These Winter Olympics are uh, taking place in a very difficult era the, uh, with the pandemic uh, spread all around the world. Um, so it's a major challenge to uh, the Chinese uh, Olympic uh, Committee. But nevertheless, I'm quite sure that uh, everything will be smooth and that the uh, games will be uh, quite successful. And it's quite amazing that uh, the leadership of China decided, despite the pandemic, uh, to, to continue with the preparations and the execution of the Olympic Games, Winter Olympic Games. Uh, and I, I, I'm quite sure it will be a major success. Well, when winning the host bid for the 2020 Winter Games in 2015, China proposed a goal of engaging 300 million people in winter sports. We have to say that uh, at that time, winter sports had not been very popular in China. So what do you think of China's ambition to promote uh, ice and snow sports? Impressive, quite impressive, I must admit. I just uh, walked in Beijing uh, on Saturday after the uh, snow. And you see everywhere, you know, there are all these uh, canals that are fro completely frozen with a lot of ice and a lot of snow because of uh, the snow on Saturday. So you see children and adults are all skating on the ice and uh, it seems as if everybody is now very much engaged mm -hmm. in, uh, in winter sports. And I'm, I'm being told, I was not there yet, that even in the uh, ski resorts uh, north of Beijing, uh, there are a lot of people that are now practicing skiing it has become a very popular, um, yeah. Have you personally visited any uh, like ski resorts and ice skating rinks in China? And no, not yet. Not yet. Oh. I only uh, see the, as I said, the, uh, the the lakes here that are frozen, and you see uh, even here in Chaoyang uh, Park, which is so close, okay. uh, you see all these. Uh, um, children skating on the lakes and, and uh, adults, and it has become very popular. I, I am quite sure that uh, it will become a major, major um, branch, if I can say so, in the uh, um, sports scene of China, which is very uh, extensive as it is now, I'm quite sure. And I hear that in all schools now it, uh, be it becomes a very uh, popular Mm. Um, uh, brand branch in in the um, all the sports events that the children have to take uh, uh, part in, right? Uh, there are lessons, and there are, this is part of the curriculum. As much as I can understand, I'm sure that it will be more than 300 million people <laughs> that will be engaged in in the uh, winter sports uh, in the future. Has this a thriving winter sports atmosphere brought any business opportunities for uh, Israel yet? We are not in the producing 
um, industry of uh, um, winter sports uh, garments that's, uh, mm. or any equipment. This is not part of what we produce back home. Mm. Uh, but definitely anything that has to do with green uh, environment is part and parcel of what we are very good in. And uh, I'm quite sure that uh, slowly, slowly, uh, if this becomes very popular mm. in China, that we will find some room for uh, engagement with the uh, Chinese uh, business sector in introducing environmental aspect to all these uh, winter sports. Yeah. Uh, so the Beijing 2020 Organizing Committee uh, aims to make the game so carbon neutral. Um, if China can achieve this goal, how significant is it for China and for the world? It's very significant because China, as you well know, is the uh, one of the biggest uh, polluters in the world. Mm. So, uh, and, and the, you know, the, China has taken this uh, very important strategy of uh, carbon free mm. in 2060. And definitely uh, this is where China is going to. And the uh, Winter Olympics uh, is part and parcel of uh, carbon neutrality uh, because uh, as everybody is talking about uh, the, the way that uh, uh, the world is producing, not only here in China, but also in all the European ski resorts, they need to uh, uh, produce artificial snow. Mm -hmm. And artificial snow is quite polluting, mm -hmm. uh, the way that it's produced. And um, I'm quite sure that uh, we will need to find a better way to produce snow, which is not uh, polluting, which is carbon free. Mm. Uh, and, and most likely these technologies will be introduced to the world very soon. Mm. So uh, given that COVID-19 is continuing to spread around the world, it will be a huge challenge for Chinese government to hold a successful Winter Olympic Games. Uh, so do you think, but at the same time, it seems like since we are still sort of trapped in the pandemic, do you think the Olympic spirit can somehow uh, inspire and unify the world, uh, given that the world is still in the troubled times? I think it shows that uh, China uh, is determined uh, in its um, zero policy, zero COVID policy and that despite uh, the spread of the pandemic uh, globally, uh, China is persistent and insisted to have the uh, Olympic Games taking place here, mm -hmm. taking all the necessary precautions. And uh, it's not easy uh, to host thousands of athletes and other delegate uh, members from around the world uh, in countries that the uh, COVID is spreading very seriously now, it's the Omicron virus. Uh, it's, it's a major challenge, and I'm sure that if China can cope with uh, this challenge uh, this time, it will just show that uh, the policy of China maybe is the correct one. You know, sometimes we uh, might uh, disagree with this policy in, in our country, mm -hmm. in our countries, but uh, nevertheless for a country the size of China, most likely this is the only way that uh, COVID can be uh, overcome and that the pandemic uh, will be over here in China and around the world. Okay. Well, this year also marked the 30th anniversary of the establishment of uh, diplomatic relations between China and Israel. How will the two countries take this chance to further uh, promote the innovative comprehensive partnership? So we are going to have uh, um, our fifth high level uh, meeting under this partnership. Mm. Uh, celebrating the 30th anniversary and then uh, it will be emphasized and this is the direction that both our presidents also showed us it will be emphasized that uh, Israel and China really wish to continue with uh, this road of uh, developing new technologies uh, innovative technologies that uh, are game changers in the world like uh, health uh, medical technologies environment technologies agricultural and water technologies, uh, educational uh, technologies, social technologies. These are all sectors that we are very interested to uh, continue working with China in developing uh, new uh, innovative technology. Mm, excellent. Uh, how will Israel's transition to uh, Bennett administration change Israel's relationship with China? Our government is still eager to have good uh, economic and uh, trade relations with China. 
We are uh, promoting our FTA. Hopefully it will be uh, concluded. All the negotiations will be concluded very soon. Um, we are completely uh, eager to continue the econom economic and, uh, and uh, business relations with, uh, with China. Um, including investments from China and Israel in those areas that are uh, not contradicting uh, the uh, internal uh, interests of, uh, of, of Israel. So uh, any, anyways, we are enjoying now $17 billion of, uh, of uh, economic and trade ties, which mm -hmm. is quite impressive. Uh, last year we saw a growth of 30% uh, in exports from China to Israel. Mm -hmm. which is quite impressive uh, in uh, COVID times. We hope that uh, we can sustain this level of uh, trade and economic uh, cooperation between our countries. And this is the message that will be uh, taken out from this high-level meeting. Uh, we want to continue working uh, with China, uh, doing business with China and developing new technologies that are, again, as I said before, game changers in the world. So does the Israeli government still welcome Chinese investment in uh, infrastructure and technology sectors? Yeah, if it coincides with the interests of uh, the state of Israel, yes. The two countries have been working on the FTA negotiations for years, so how far are we from reaching a deal? We have made a substantial progress in the last couple of months. Uh, it was announced by the Chinese government that this is one of the agreements that uh, the government of China wishes to sign in 2022. So we hope we can reach this uh, uh, level of uh, being able to sign the agreement in the next couple of months. Wow. Uh, so how will this uh, deal benefit the two countries in the business sectors? It will reduce the uh, duties on, on uh, imports, uh, both Chinese imports to Israel and Israeli imports to China. Mm -hmm. And it will definitely, according to all the service that were conducted, just prior to the beginning of the negotiations, that it can uh, increase the uh, amount of uh, trade of goods between our two countries. So, Wajuni, Xin Yan Kuala, Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year of the Tiger. May it be a prosperous uh, and healthy year to uh, all the people of China, in China and around the world. And may 2022 be a, a much better year and finally we will be able to get out from this uh, era of pandemic. I wish all athletes from around the world and especially those coming from Israel much success in the upcoming uh, Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic Games. May it be a successful event, uh, lots of medals and especially lots of medals to the Israeli team.